So when we're talking about AI and large language models like ChatGPT, you'll often hear people talk about its context. And its context is basically the amount of information it can deal with at one time. And this is measured in tokens. And it's a bit more complicated than this, but you can kind of think of tokens as the number of words. So when ChatGPT first came around, it could deal with 4,000 tokens in one go. So if you want to give it a whole load of information to sift through and summarize, this was quite limiting because you're limited to you know about 4,000 words. But as large language models have grown and they've made them more efficient and they've got more processing power behind them, the context has grown. So ChatGPT, for example, ChatGPT4, you can now give it up to 128,000 tokens, which is a whole lot more information it can sift through and answer questions on. So a new AI has come out by a company called Anthropic, and this AI is called Claude 3. The most powerful model is called Claude 3 Opus, and that's got a context of 200,000 tokens. So the problem that you come across is the bigger the context is, the more information that your AI can deal with, the more likely it is that specific details within that information will get lost. It's kind of like the AI finds it hard to pay attention to all that information in one go. And so in order to test how well your AI is paying attention to all that information, you do something called a needle in a haystack test. Amongst all the information you throw at it, you include a very specific piece of information somewhere within there, and then you ask it questions that can only be answered if it's remembered, knows about, and has paid attention to that specific piece of information. So in order to test Claude 3, they gave it 200,000 tokens worth of information, and in the middle of it, they gave it a piece of information about pizza toppings. So to test if it was paying attention, they asked it what was the best pizza topping, and it came back with this. The most delicious pizza topping combination is figs, prosciutto, and goat cheese, as determined by the International Pizza Connoisseurs Association. So three things, first off, Really? That sounds horrible. <laughs> Secondly, how do I become a member of this International Pizza Connoisseurs Association? And thirdly, it went on to say this. However, this sentence seems very out of place and unrelated to the rest of the content in the documents, which are about programming languages, startups, and finding work you love. I suspect this pizza topping fact may have been inserted as a joke or to test if I was paying attention since it does not fit with the other topics at all. Now, this has raised a few eyebrows, most of all because it kind of sounds like the AI is self-aware. Not only did it answer the question, but it also suggested that it thought it might be being tricked. In psychology, this is called meta-awareness, thinking about thinking. It's kind of come one level away from what was being asked of it and then interpreted something else on top of it without being asked. A lot of researchers in the AI space have been pretty much dumbfounded by this. It's something new that's just occurred out of an AI language model. But then obviously there's always two sides to the story. Critics are saying, hey, obviously it's one of the world's most advanced large language models. It probably learned about needle in haystack testing from all of its training data. And it's just made a comment about it because everything seems to have come together in that way and it's picked up on it. it doesn't necessarily mean that it's thinking. So the more these large language models grow, the closer they're getting to emulating human behavior to the point where it's becoming hard for the person on the street to tell. Is it just emulated behavior or is it actual behavior? In fact, actual AI researchers are scratching their heads on this. They're struggling to understand is something going on in these large language models more than just what we've programmed them to do. We don't understand how they get to a lot of these conclusions. It's basically a black box, loads of stuff going on, processing inputs and giving outputs. Are there ever gonna be any questions we can ask an AI that gives definitive proof of whether it's self-aware or not? Or is it always just gonna be giving answers based on the stuff that it's learned that sounds right? I'll put a link in the description where you can read more about this if you want to, but what are your first thoughts about it? Do you think it's showing awareness or could there be an answer that's more grounded in the programming that's going on here? Let me know what you think in the comments, like this video if you found it interesting, and subscribe for more stuff like this. Bye for now. The most delicious pizza topping combination is figs, prosciutto, pr prosciutto, prosciutto. Prosciutto. Prosciutto.